Kriyatu Salahim. Chapter 257, Prohibition of Calumny. Allah, the Exalted, says. A slanderer, going about with malicious gossip, Quran chapter 68 verse 11. Not a word does a person utter without having a vigilant observer ready to write it down. Quran chapter 50 verse 18. Had Haifa, may Allah be pleased with him, said, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, the person who goes about with calumnies will never enter Jannah. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary, a person who thinks that tail-bearing is lawful, and practices it to create conflict and quarrel among people despite the fact that he knows it is unanimously forbidden, will never go to Jannah. A person who considers it unlawful but does it out of sheer human weakness, will in the first instance go to hell, if Allah does not pardon him for it. He will then be shifted to Jannah after suffering punishment for it. Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, said, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him passed by two graves and said, both of them, the persons in these graves, are being tortured, and they are not being tortured for a cardinal sin. But indeed they are great sins. One of them used not to save himself from being soiled with his urine, and the other one used to go about with calumnies, among the people to rouse hostilities, e.g., one goes to a person and tells him that so and so says about him such and such evil things. Reported in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim. Commentary. One la yastataru min balahi has another meaning, namely, he does not pass urine in privacy but does it shamelessly in the presence of other people. Obviously shamelessness is also a sin. Tail bearing, carelessness in saving oneself from splash of urine drops, and lack of observance of privacy are sins which are liable to punishment. 2. The hadith also proves punishment in the grave. Ibn Masud, may Allah be pleased with him, said, the Prophet peace be upon him said, shall I tell you what alatu falsehood and slandering is? It is calumny which is committed among the people. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, we learn from this hadith that calumny, lying, falsehood and slandering are major sins because they cause conflict and dissension in society. A Muslim must keep himself free from such evils. يا رسول سلام عليك يا حبيب سلام عليك